Yo, what's good, guys? You already know I'm Ken Wall. As promised, I told you guys I would be back Thursday to talk about the Xbox first party event. So let's get it. Real quick before we get started, this is not one of my scripted videos. So you guys are gonna hear me fumbling a little bit saying, um, you know, that stuff, because my thoughts are all over the place right now when it's not written down in words. So just bear with me. I'm gonna try and keep it as organized as possible. Xbox, I gotta commend y'all because that show, what the f All right. Xbox, the reason why I gotta commend Xbox, bro, is they really know how to psych everyone out, the whole gaming community. So I think it's safe to say everyone's like, yo, Xbox, they're not gonna be banking on Halo Infinite. There's no way they're banking on Halo Infinite to be their big selling point. Then we watched the event and it really feels like Halo Infinite it re is really their seller. Like Xbox just has no problem with that whatsoever. And it's just like, I just don't think they know what they're doing. This is just me. I don't think they know what they're doing. And I just don't believe they're listening to what their consumers want because over and over again, the consumers saying we want games, we want games, we want games, we want games, we want exclusives, we want Ghost of Tsushima for Xbox, we want a Spider-Man for the Xbox, we want a Last of Us for the Xbox, we want a Horizon Zero Dawn for the Xbox, we want a like how many exclusive games do Xbox people want that PlayStation's getting, and Xbox just hasn't been doing that but yet they keep saying phil spencer keeps saying we know what the the consumers want i think it's a slap in the face so let's get into the xbox event first halo infinite the reason why i'm disappointed about halo infinite is not because of the gameplay it's the lack there of gameplay that's the reason why i'm disappointed i feel like 343 and microsoft is still scared to show this game off because any every other halo we've had a bunch of gameplay details showing us what's going to what to be expected about the next halo this is the first halo where we're still in the dark and it's july and this halo's most likely coming out in november and we're still in the dark i can't judge off of that eight minute trailer the only thing i could say that i had a problem with is I don't like how they're saying that their open world is new. Obviously, it's new for the Halo universe, but I've seen open, I hope they do open world, new innovative open world gameplay mechanics because I don't, Halo did that before where it was like, Halo 5 was this new experience that we've never seen before. Uh, we have, we've seen it in Titanfall, we've seen it in Crisis, we've seen it in a, a bunch of games. But besides the fact, it wasn't the gameplay. I can't judge it. It wasn't bad to me. It wasn't good either because I just don't know. And that's very disappointing because it's July. It's July and this game is coming out in November. And like I said in the Halo video I made earlier, campaign for Halo is not its bread and butter. The multiplayer is, and they didn't even show us that. Halo 5, I remember that E3. Halo 5 showed us a, a whole mission when it was at E3, it showed us a whole mission and then it gave us a gameplay multiplayer teaser and it gave us a beta of uh, release date window. You know what I mean? They gave us something. It, we, we weren't in the dark for that long with Halo 5. Halo Infinite, we're still in the dark. Another thing I didn't like about the event is that they kept saying that this was going to be an hour long first party studio event, but then they showed Destiny 2 and they were like, Destiny 2 is on the Game Pass, but Destiny 2 is free. It's a free-to-play game. It's a service model game. So I think everyone should be able to get Destiny already. Like, what is Game Pass going to offer people that have Destiny on Game Pass? Like, is there going to be new things that they get new armor? I think that was pointless. Third thing I had a problem with was the pacing of the event. So remember when Obsidian showed off their new RPG game, right? Right after that, they showed off an indie game. Let's be real here, guys. Triple A and indie, they're on two different levels. Triple A is going to appeal to most people. 
the indie game should not have been placed right after that game i think it's very bad you were setting up that indie game to be to look like garbage you're looking making it look like garbage because you don't you just don't you don't do that i was hoping the wb games thing was going to be true but it's not at, at least right now it's not it's not true and they still have not showed another exclusive that i want to buy there was no hellblade 2 gameplay which was odd to me because they announced that back at the game awards so i was expecting gameplay for that the other games just they they don't have me playstation gets the benefit of the doubt simply because we know what's going to come playstation's biggest hurdle is what is going to make me buy the playstation 5 the first month playstation already has it locked that people are going to buy this console six months down the line within the first year playstation has, has that locked xbox i don't think has it locked because of the cross gen they already confirmed that exclusives they're going to be making cross gen exclusives for the first two to three years PlayStation does not have that problem. PlayStation, I'm a big PlayStation fan because they're doing what I want right now. I'm liking the games they're creating. I know God of War is being developed. Sometime, it's probably going to drop. 2022, 2023. Hell, I would love it if it dropped 2021, but I don't think so. But again, it's dropping in the future. We know Naughty Dog is going to make another game. We know insomniac the miles morales game is an appetizer to spider-man 2 the real sequel we know those games are coming that's why playstation is killing it right now we don't know that with the xbox the xbox is in a very bad position because they have nothing going for it the first month it comes out they have nothing going for it the first year or the second or the third year because there's just nothing going on and this event did not help that at all the event i think the event did a very bad job of showing that xbox cares about not cares but has been listening to their consumers because i look at the post man a lot of xbox people want games to play and they just i i, I don't know what they were doing here I, that's, I, that's what I'm saying. I got to commend them because, yo, it's like that one time in Uno when you're down to your one card and you're you're feeling cocky, right? So you go like, yo, I got a yellow. And then people are like, yo, man, he does not have a yellow. Or wait, does he have a yellow? Does he have a... Wait, nah, he... Nah, he doesn't have a yellow. You drop down a yellow. Everyone drops down a yellow. And then you're like, yo, I wasn't lying. That's what Xbox just did. Xbox just showed it was like... Xbox was just banking on an eight minute <laughs> Halo Infinite trailer. I, I don't know what's going on with Xbox. It was very disappointing because I am pro consumer. I don't have, I'm not loyal to anything, especially business related. That's the standpoint I'm coming from. If a business is doing what I like and they're actually respecting me as a consumer, I'm going to rock with that business. PlayStation has been doing that and Xbox hasn't. Let's just come real quick. Let's just compare the ending to the PlayStation one. PlayStation had a mix of cinematic and a little bit of gameplay for Horizon Zero Dawn, which is another big exclusive that PlayStation has. Xbox ended it with what? Fable, which was 30 seconds. And that game has been in development for years. And we knew that. It's just, it's a lot of half measure shit bro that's that I'm, I'm just gonna be on it's a lot of half measure shit it's like xbox yo man i don't i don't know what you're doing but i i, I can't rock with you guys i'm gonna continue to say i can't i can't rock with you guys because I, I i i'm not you're not doing our relationship a consumer and business you're not you're not upholding my bargain you're not doing what i want you to do so that that's all i'm gonna say xbox if you guys want to buy xbox hey do you but i think this event was very bad for xbox it is going to the memes are going to continue for xbox and it's going to be a tough road ahead for them we'll see what's going to happen
Thank you guys for watching today's video. You already know, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.